Hey, YouTube. What's going on? It's date night. We're keeping it hot, keeping it keep hot. It hot. Not only are we keeping it hot in our marriage, but we're keeping it hot. On this Blackstone <laughs> On the <griddle>. Blackstone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, family. Welcome back, family. Tonight Welcome is back. date night, like we said. And if you are not a part of the family, guess why? Because you haven't subscribed. You have not subscribed. You haven't hit the like button. That like button. And you haven't been notified. Bing. So it, <laughs> it is date night, and we usually reserve Friday nights for us to have some time together. And tonight we're gonna be cooking on the Blackstone, talking about marriage. We're keeping it hot in here. Oh yeah. So hot in here. Oh, got no, a story behind that. Yeah, can't say that. Okay, so we are going to be cooking tonight. We're going to have ribeye steak, ribeye, lobster tail, lobster, and some shrimp, shrimp yeah. and asparagus. We just can't get away from asparagus. Yeah, I love that asparagus. We were going to do broccoli, but thank you, Jamal, for turning us against that for tonight. So we are going to get to cooking and get to talking. Y'all learn a little bit more about us and drop in the comments if you ever done lobster tail on the Blackstone. On the Blackstone. Because this is our first time. <laughs> so let's get cooking, y'all. Let's go. Okay, honey. Uh, if you will, reach me those uh, ribeye steaks. Ribeye steaks. date steak. night. Date night. And a little bit of that olive oil. Just a little bit. So he likes to put olive oil on his Just clip. light. Olive oil light. Just For a little bit. For the steak. Here you go, my queen. So, honey, tell me something. Yes, ma'am. What keeps the marriage hot? I know what keeps the griddle hot. Oh! <laughs> but what keeps the marriage hot? Well, honey, to me, it's all in sacrifices. Okay. Sometimes giving up yourself for others, uh, it just goes a long way. A lot of times we want what we want. Go ahead and put these ribeyes on. Y'all hear that sizzle? Gotta keep that sizzle, sizzle, sizzle in the, sizzle. Yeah. Gotta keep that sizzle, sizzle in your marriage also. But for me, it's all about sacrifice. A lot of times it's easy to look at another couple or look at, look at the other, your spouse, and what they need to get right. A lot of times we need to look in the mirror and just sacrifice. Just sacrifice, huh? So the same way you keep the sizzle on the black stone. The same way we do the sizzle here, I give you that same sizzle love. Sizzle love, y'all. You got that sizzle love? Sizzle love. Okay. Uh, asparagus. All right. Go ahead and get that on. Do you, can we spray? We can. Okay. I don't like my asparagus. Y'all know I've done asparagus before. I like mine a little light, so. And it's the switcheroo. Thank you, my queen. Y'all so, see that? I didn't even have to ask. So we do have the asparagus. I have mine seasoned, I already have. I like mine in garlic. And I put some, a little bit of Cajun sauce on here. And then I'm just tossing them. <laughs> and then we're gonna put them on the griddle. There you go. Thank you, my queen. All righty. Put that to the side as well as this. Thank you. So relationships about like just serving each other. I see how you reach for the plate when I reached it to you. Reached me a glove when I didn't even ask for it. So, what keeps the marriage hot for you, my queen? I think what keeps it hot for me is continuing to learn each other. I mean, I don't think you ever can get to a point where you can say, I totally understand and know this man. I have to continue to try to learn him. It's like a book. Is that cliche? Yes, maybe it is. But I'm always trying to figure out what it is that he needs because needs change. And if I want to keep it hot, I have to realize that, you know, 33-year-old Tim and 50, my sugar daddy, how old are you now? <laughs> Whatever, but it's different. And so what I want to do is I just don't want to feed him there, but I want to feed him there. And I think that keeps it hot because, you know, I heard a saying where it says, um, if you give them a meal at home, they don't look for a snack in the street. So uh, y'all use that if you want to. Just be sure to tag me in that one. <laughs> so how long have we been married, Queen? 
19 years. 19 years. Well, you're asking me. You didn't know? Well, I knew. Uh huh. I just uh -huh. wanted to, hey, sometimes we got to do a little post check to make sure she's still engaged. Y'all feel me? <laughs> <laughs> so, we've been married 19 years. We have, we're a blended family. I know we yes. haven't done like an intro video, but we're a blended coming. family. 19 years in. Our oldest is 33. 33. 32. 31. 27 Seven. and 22. 22. Whew. Right. Ooh, she's been busy. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, we're blended. <laughs> but the thing about it is, it, it was a lot to try to continue to keep the fire burning when we had those children here and we were trying to blend and we were going through so much. Blending is hard. It was hard. Um, and we went through a lot and it taught us a lot. And I'm grateful for the lesson, but back then, well, and even no. keeping it hot, just like any fire, it, it, you need some elements to keep that fire yeah, burning. Yeah. You need oxygen. Yeah. So I don't do stuff to try to choke her out. Mm -hmm. You know, you you, you need uh, uh, you know some type of uh, flame. So I I choose to be that flame, y'all. He's a fire star. I, I, yeah, I'm a fire star. <laughs> <laughs> but I choose to be the flame. You know, it, and it's not all about sometimes what you're wanting or what what you want this one to do. I want her to do this. You know. Sometimes if you just switch that around and you start doing, you know, and all that stuff reciprocate, and then, you know, she start doing, I mean, even stuff like keeping her tank filled up in her car, you know, where if you see a need, if, if something needs to be swept or floors need to be mopped, just go do it. This is 100-100. I know a lot of people say 50-50, but yeah. if I bring 50, then she's only getting half of me. And she needs the full package. And I think we always, always have to give 100. And some days you don't feel 100. Just oh, yeah. keep it real. You don't feel 100. And that's when the fire is burning where he picks up the slack for me and I pick up the slack for him. That's right. When we got married, there was a, one of the pastors said to us to... Keep the fire burning uh -huh. and the ashes dumped. Because we know what ashes do. To, uh, put out the fire. They'll smother it, the, we'll fire, the fire, right? Yeah. So we, we vow to keep it burning and we make time for each other like tonight I mean, yeah we're, we're empty nesters we've been for a minute but we still have to take time where we're not bothered by distractions cell phones telephone that's the same thing <laughs> <laughs> cell phones telephone right but we're not distracted <laughs> by television or you know doing anything else that we would normally do and we're outside and we're in the mountains so yeah, we're going to get attacked by the Y'all might see me swatting. But we do want to check our food, so let's check oh, yeah. the food while we're sitting here having this conversation. It, it smells so good, y'all. Ain't nothing sexier than a man on the grill. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay, here you go. Okay, here you go, honey. So we'll put a little steam around this bear, because y'all know how that is. And put the dome over it. Doesn't take long for asparagus. We also have some shrimp. That's the shrimp coming? Yes, yeah, so I don't know when you want to put the shrimp on. Well, uh, we'll, we'll wait till some of this come off. Honey, uh, also in marriage, we have to do a temp check. So will you please give me the temperature? So how many of you temp check in your marriage? Ooh, temp check. Yeah, that's kind of like when you kind of have a conversation and say, you know, am I meeting your needs? And I don't know, this might be a little too deep for some people because some people don't have those kind of conversations. Maybe. But we want to be to the point where we can talk about anything and we can bring up any subject. Right. And it takes time to get there. And you don't master it, y'all. We've you been know. married 19 years mm -hmm. and we didn't get here overnight. And we're still mm -hmm. growing. We're still learning one another because it, it's going to change. Trust me, it's going to change. It will change. What she used to like, she might not like no more, like fellas. It. I don't like it. <laughs> she might not like it, fellas. <laughs> you better ask questions. <laughs> So while he's preparing the sous vide gun so that he can put a sear on the steaks, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my butter for my lobster tails. It's got some Cajun seasoning in it and some, a little bit of garlic in there. And I'm going to go ahead and let that start melting because it takes about six minutes maybe for a lobster. That's what I heard. But you know, I'm going to temperature check it. So I'm going to put that on here. I have it in my little handy dandy, what do you call this thing? Bowl. I don't know. Y'all know. Y'all know me. Come on. But I'm going to go ahead and put that on there and let that start getting hot so it can melt the butter because when we put the lobster on there, we're going to want to brush it on there. So when he comes back to sear his meat, 
We'll see what the sous gun looks like, all right? Got the sous V gun. Y'all see it? Got the little flame. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna flame you up, baby. Say keep the fire burning. Put y'all with me. He didn't say keep up. me on fire. Put y'all with me burn up. <laughs> ain't nothing like your husband pulling out his gun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let me go ahead and get this going. All right. Woo! Uh oh. Here we go. So he really thinks he's a master chef now, y'all, because he is searing this with the sous gun. It puts a nice crispy sear on it. You see them doing this at restaurants. Ooh, look at that, that's beautiful. He's been wanting to do this for a long time. I let him have his moment. That's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. I'm gonna get something to take it off. Y'all see it. Put a little bit more on this one. That's what I'm talking about. Normally I do my ribeyes and stuff on a charcoal grill, but we just wanted to be a Blackstone night, just Blackstone and date night. So as he's taking off these seared ribeyes, we are gonna get prepared to put our lobster tails on here. And like I said, this is our first time doing lobster tails. So we keeping it sexy tonight, y'all. Keeping it real sexy. I ain't never tasted no lobster. What it tastes like? I don't know, we gonna find out tonight. <laughs> y'all, if y'all see me, mm, can somebody tell me what it tastes like? <laughs> Guess I'm gonna find out tonight. Right. Let me uh, clean this grill off. So I am going to now stir a little bit of my, uh-oh, got some on there, but that's fine. My butter and my garlic with my Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna see if I can get over here where they can it's see it. It's hot, baby. Yeah, it said it. keep it burning, but it didn't say burn your hand. There you go. Okay, so this is the butter. I'm make sure they can see. And we're gonna just mix it up and let that get nice and melty. Look at that. Let it melt. We have it on low, so we're cooking. What we cooking? Low and slow. Low and slow, y'all. All right. I'm gonna check the asparagus. Uh. So because we're putting butter on our lobster and we're on this Weight Watchers, I figured I wouldn't put butter on the asparagus. So it's seasoned really nice and well. I like garlic on mine. I like um, a little bit of Cajun seasoning on it. I put some fresh ground pepper on it as well. Mm. It's messed up with that, y'all. Don't see that? I'm sorry, but mm. it's, it's good and it's ready to come off. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take this asparagus off, and then when we put the lobster tail on here, we'll chat a little bit more. All right, honey, what we got next? So I think we will put the shrimp on, oh. and then after we put the shrimp on, we'll put the lobster tail on. What you think about that? Uh, that's so perfect. I had to put my gloves on. You need some olive oil? I already sprayed it, babe. Okay. So I'm gonna use my hands to take it out. That way, the water that's down in this bowl can get out the way. So how many of y'all out there have date nights? I'm just wondering. That's how we keep it hot. I, I mean, I just wonder how many people have date nights. Do you make time for each other? Yeah. And I think that's the important part is the glove, making sure that you make that time. Um, it's easy for us, like, you know, like I said, we empty nesters. We could easily say, well, we spend enough time through the week and, you know, the weekend is our time, but we still have to invest in our marriage. And I think that's what's important. We continue to invest in each other. A lot of, he, brown eyes. I'm he sorry, is not I'm a sorry. singer. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> but <me. laughs> it's, it's investing time. That's right. And even to coming in and doing this cook together and, and the prep time in the kitchen, and we usually have Pandora on, we're playing some jazz, and we get to have a moment where we can just reflect on the week. And that's what I love about it. I mean, and then we're up here in the mountain, and. It's peaceful out here and it happens to be a warm night tonight. You know, even though I'm representing as always the Steelers, but <laughs> it's just a time for reflecting. Yes. And I think everybody in their marriage needs to reflect. And you need and that quiet, you need that quiet you space. You need quiet space. I mean, you know, peaceful. 
peaceful, yeah. It's where y'all can come, just meditate, sit back, uh, speak life into one another. And another thing too is a lot of times with our schedules, he usually home before I am. And what keeps it hot for me is a lot of nights I come home and dinner's ready or it's prepared so that we can just go throw it on the Blackstone because y'all know we love the Blackstone. But we can just come outside and cook it or like I said, it's already done. And that's something I don't have to worry about. I don't have to come home and be like, okay, now I gotta worry about what to cook. Another thing, a lot of times I separate them clothes and I come home when that <laughs> washing machine is going in that dryer. Ooh, now that right ooh. there. Mm -hmm. Fellas, mm -hmm. a lot of times they speaking <laughs> without speaking a word, without saying a word. Yeah. So what I want to do now, mind you all, this is our first time doing lobster tails. First time. So I heard from YouTube <laughs> <laughs> that you just put it on low, about six minutes, you temp check it, and we'll put a dome over the top, and we'll brush it with butter, and then we'll put some water around it and steam it, and that the shell from the tail will steam. Shell from the tail. Shell from the, y'all know I'd be like, I got balls. <laughs> but the shell from the tail acts as a steaming agent. I don't know, I'm just, this is what I heard, okay? YouTube is right. Y'all see it. And we did not go big, because if we don't like this, we have not invested that much money. Hold it for me, huh? Sure. I am going to put just a little oil so it doesn't stick. Just a little. Then I'm going to get to the let me get to the butter, baby. I'm sorry. I'm gonna take a little bit of butter and just put that there, just to have underneath it. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. It just make me feel like I'm doing something. And then I'm gonna douse a little butter on top of it. It already looked like it's gonna look taste good. Mm -hmm. And next. I'm going to pick him up. That's a him. I don't know. He's going to be a him tonight. <laughs> well, pick up her. And then I'm going to pick her up, yeah. him and her. It's a date night. It's a date night. Yeah, date night on the black We're going to eat both of y'all tails tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tails. Y'all get it? OK. <laughs> then I'm going to put some water around them to steam. And in between, got to get in between them. Come on, water. And go. So, ribeyes ready. The ribeyes are ready. Shrimp ready. Check. Asparagus ready. Check. We gonna pull these lobster tails off, and then what happens after that? That ain't your business. So I got a plate. We're gonna take these lobster tails off. Yes, yes. Before Drum I, roll. Before I do, you know what I'm gonna do is drench that. That look good. You want to slide them? Yes. That look good. I don't know, y'all. Ooh. Y'all know I always drop something on videos. I don't always know if y'all ever watch this. Something. But I always drop something. Y'all look at that. Mm -mm. Date night on the Blackstone. Outside family. And I do want to say one thing. You know, you and I talk about it all the time, and that's finding something new to do within our marriage. Right. And what I mean by that. This is the first time we've had lobster. Don't even know if we like it or not. But just try to find something new. If it's hot dog, if it's baloney, find a different way of fixing it. Right. And make it do what it do. Get in your personal space and just spend that quality time together. Because that does keep the fire burning, y'all. It really does. Making time for each other. Like you said, you don't have to spend a lot of money. And I think a lot of times we get caught on, I don't have the money, I don't have the money. But just something simple and small and spending time together keeps that fire burning y'all so until then we hope that this channel inspires empowers entertains and keeps you informed be blessed family be blessed